Listen, you already know what's going on with the Charlotte Hornets. They recently signed Poku, the former first round pick from the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is another spectacular move from the Charlotte Hornets. You know, uh, we're going to speak on why this move is bigger than a lot of people may think. The Hornets are continuing to move on the right track, getting quality youth in the building. You know, um, gone are the days of the youth that cannot produce. Now they are getting guys that are going to fit perfectly and seamlessly with LaMelo Ball, and that's going to be key. This is major, y'all. Like I stated, I want to repeat, this is a former first-round pick. You know, the Hornets had bad first-round picks. Y'all, this, this guy came from the Oklahoma City Thunder. They just giving away players right now, y'all. You know, they all have an abundance of talent. They are second, and they all have had a schedule. You know, that's the issue, what's going on with OKC. So I don't want you to hear these guys getting waved. You ever see Trey Mann? You know, I'm excelling. You know, he's he was a victim of the the organization in OKC just ahead of schedule. You understand? And some of these guys just had to move on, you know, but they are super talented and they are about to blossom in Charlotte next to Melo. Um, Poku, we already know he had, uh, he's got some years in the league, you know, so that's definitely beneficial. You know, um, he's got his experience. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about this with the chief chief. You did a live today It was an amazing live stream. You broke this down. Let everybody know the ramifications of Poku. How big is this for Charlotte? Let's break it down. I think people are underestimating the uh, the pickup, you know, because he was a wave. And we discussed that on Tribe Sports Media earlier today uh, with me in the in the chat, man. You said it perfectly, Flight. Youth, talented youth is being infused. It's almost like it's a blood transfusion going on in Charlotte right now, bro, because he's a skilled big. One of uh, his skill set is the coveted skill set in this, in that the NBA GMs covet. A seven-footer who can handle the ball, who can shoot the ball, who can play make. He does those things. This is even when the talk about Terry Rozier going to Charlotte, I mean, Terry Rozier going to Miami. I was hoping that they would get Nikola Jovich out of Miami to come back with Kyle Lowry because jo Nikola Jovich down in Charlotte has that same skill set. But he's on the bench right now. I'm sorry, down in Miami, he has he has that same skill set. But he's you know he's playing behind Jaime Vasquez. He's playing behind some players down there, so he has to wait his turn down there. And OKC, the Presti, shout out to him, man. Presti has done such a job in just collecting talent. There's only so much when you have a whole collection of talent the way OKC has. There's only so many roles that can be handed out. You know, once you got SGA and Chet established, then everybody else has to kind of fit in, you know, in with their roles within that org, right? So certain players who may deserve to play more may fall, not because they're not talented. It's just that there's people occupying that space already. You know what I'm saying, Flight? So Whoever, because I don't, I don't care what you say, you know, Mitch may have been, Mitch may be the face of these moves, but the brains of these, what, what, whatever. If it's Rick Snow, if it's if it's someone whispering in his ear, whoever's making orchestrating these moves and deals in Charlotte, like I said earlier, if this is the appetizer, the off season is going to be a nice meal, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I like what I'm seeing so far, and and he's he's skilled, man. I'm gonna go yeah. into a little further. Good. Uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna break it down. Uh, we're not done. Um, I want to highlight some pointers here that this guy is a seven footer. You know, I mean, you can't teach height. You That's understand right. and skilled. Um, this guy right here did suffer a leg injury. I don't know if you are familiar with it, but he was balling prior to that injury. You know, I want to point that out. It is a top twenty pick. A steal, in my opinion, a steal. Now, now you know, of course. 
you know, uh, shout out to the chat. <laughs> you know, some of my takes, you know, the chat has cooked, you know, so shout out to the chat. You don't, Charlotte doesn't lose anything. If he, if he falls flat, then it was, they picked him up from a wave. They can move him on. But when you have someone like that and you put him, he's seven, oh, seven foot with those skills. You put that with Brandon Miller, who is six nine, maybe in, in young. It, it may, he, Brandon may even can go to six ten, with similar skills, and with Lamelo Ball, the savant and the maestro himself, at almost six eight, with elite skills. When you have three skilled players, who can all create, who can all shoot the ball deep, who can all create their own shot then it becomes very hard for that team to be defended. So then all you need to do is put complementary pieces around them. You know, right now uh, there's talk that, well, he'll just replace JT Thor. No, I, I think that's, I think that's an ill-advised comparison. He, he's, he just on his skill set alone, JT Thor, I watched a little film on him today. JT Thor is not doing none of the things that he was doing that I saw on film. No, JT Thor is not making no behind the back passes. JT Thor is not looking, is not making look off passes on the break. JT Thor doesn't have that type of skill. So this is definitely, definitely an elevation from JT Thor. So we'll see if he can cook. And and really flight, this is the perfect time to bring him in. The Hornets, uh, the Hornets record is a losing record, you know. They may slide into the play-in, but that may that may not be likely. It, uh, teams will have to fall down for that to happen. You know, it's not that they have to win; other teams have to fall. You know, um, this is this is a tool. This is a tool, in my opinion, a tool-up year for Charlotte, and they are tooling up. You know, this is a year to get all the get the culture together. That's what this is for: to get the winning culture together. To now finally put players around Lamelo that will now elevate the team that will fit his skill set finally, you know, and then going forward, you can now begin to make noise in the East and these other things. And it's a young team. So it's on pace with Orlando. It's on pace with the other young teams that are coming out. It's on pace with Minnesota. It's on pace with uh, Detroit. It's on pace with those young teams that are coming up eventually. You know, I'll say it again. I don't, Detroit is Detroit is not good this year with the type of talent that they're collecting in Detroit. I expect that to change. You know, so so it's it's a wonderful ride, bro. Wonderful. <clears throat> Travis Sports Media. You heard what the man said. Listen, it's Flight Sports TV, man. Shout out to the Charlotte Hornets.